Hello. Hello. So I just finished editing the final video for the Switzerland series or Europe series, whatever you want to call it. And just finished now packing for our next trip. This is everything that I'm taking. This is clothes, camera gear, accessories, all that jazz. Uh, today we leave and we are headed to Asia. My favorite place in the whole wide world. Uh, we're gonna go to Thailand, Vietnam. That's our dog. He's gonna go with his brother. We just gotta drop off Huckleberry at my parents' house. And then uh, and then we're headed to the airport. Isn't that right, Huckleberry? Well, we'll see Finn. But yeah, uh, maybe we'll update you in the airport or whatever. Sam and I made it to Singapore. Checking out the butterfly museum thing, which is pretty cool to be inside of a <coughs> airport. Six hours later. Sam and I just made it to our first hotel in Bangkok. This is the only place in the trip that I've stayed before. I don't know why I wanted to stay here again. I just really liked it. We're going to probably shower. We're definitely showering. Yeah. We feel gross as hell. That was, we just spent, I think in total, 29 total hours traveling. We might shower, maybe go down to the pool down there on the 10th floor. We just had some, uh, I don't know what this is. It's like sugar water. It's like a welcome drink. That's fire. Bip, bip. Sam and I just took a shower and now we're out walking the clean streets of Bangkok. I have a ton of battery on the GoPro and I don't know why I didn't bring a second one. I don't even know if this is audible. This is the loudest freaking city there is. We're gonna go look for a new backpack for each of us. And I need some chonies, at a bare minimum, chonies. Hopefully a lot more than that. I brought almost no clothes. Also insane, I did not mention this. We're staying in the exact same hotel room that I stayed at six years ago. Just so happens to be the same room number. The next day. Sam and I, it's, it's like two o'clock. We got up pretty early, like 8.30 today. We left here at like maybe 10. We went and got massages. Last night we also got massages. Last night we got foot massages. Today we got uh, oil massages. Well, we've been here less than 24 hours, had two massages. Yesterday, I didn't really take out the camera, but we bought a whole bunch of stuff. Bought a new backpack, bought six pairs of chonies. They got no booty, like no material for your ass. Had to buy more chonies today. Oh yeah, check out my new backpack. I want to get a pair of knockoff Yeezys, but I haven't bought them yet but new North Face backpack. Now we're about to go and take a dip in the pool. There's only a few people there. Well, now there's a lot more. Is there? Yeah. Wait, Damn it. But yeah, so we're headed to the pool. Down there. We just spent like an hour and a half, two hours at the pool. We just got a drink here. Uh, but now we're gonna shower probably. Then we're going to Kosan Road, Kalsan Road, whatever you want to call it. Eat tons of street food. We no, we're going to. Sam's gonna try durian. Durian, durian. Stinky. So we made it to Kaosan Road. Kaosan Road. It's like Backpacker Central. We're on our first first meal. Well, actually, second. We shared a, a beef stick. Now we're having a chicken pad thai that we're sharing, but gonna hang out here for most of the night. See what there is. I mean, I pretty much know what there is to see. You can see it from here. A bunch of bars and a bunch of backpackers and nightlife type stuff. I can never tell which way this thing, but things be. Sam's gonna try durian for the first time. It's hot as hell. That's what I'm doing. I'm wiping my sweat. Uh, 
This is like that really stinky fruit. Why are we eating it? Don't know. It's one of those things that you just gotta try. But it looks kind of like a banana. It looks like a big fat banana. But it smells really bad. Yeah. Squishy. Uh, but she's about to try it. Oh, you need a bigger bite. Get inundated with a good bite. It's wet. That's it's better. hard to get it. Normally it's cut up. Well, it ain't. Okay, that's, that's a good. big bite. I don't have yep. anything to drink. It's not that bad. It's just weird. It's just like a texture thing. It's really not that bad. She's acting like she's gonna throw up. It literally melts as soon as you put it in your mouth. It's more like you talk about it so much and it's scared. Oh my god. That's what it, that's what it does. It just smells like ass. And there's something inside. Oh god. What is that? Like a nut? It actually tastes better than I remember. I think last time. I think I was just psyched myself out kind of like Sam is right now. Want another bite? No. Good. It's super expensive too. This is like three dollars. We got the smallest one there was. Yeah, why is that? I don't know, but I'm done. That's durian. You gotta try it. This one? Yes. Mango sticky rice, not what I was expecting at all. It kind of tastes like the uh, the frosting that goes on like a cinnamon roll, just on top of a piece of mango. I don't know, I feel like everything is good and separately though. Like yeah. the mango was a good mango, and then at the end when I tasted the rice, it was good rice. But nothing, all of it together is kind of weird. Yeah. yeah, mango sticky rice is weird. It's not bad. This is Kosan Road and it's insane. The later it gets, the louder it gets. Tomorrow. Sam and I just got up maybe like an hour and a half ago. I think it's like maybe eight o'clock right now. We didn't film much last night. I just didn't really feel like it to be honest, but drinking this knockoff Red Bull, it's just like Red Bull. Delicious. It is absolutely delicious. It tastes better than regular Red Bull. There's no carbonation and it's sweeter. But check out our haul of our stuff that we bought yesterday. So yesterday was kind of our shopping day. But a Fall Raven backpack, it was like 12 bucks. Sam got a new pair of shorts, got a ton of chonies, a couple dollars a piece. $2 shirt, $6 shirt. My new Yeezys. They were the most expensive though, they were like 30 bucks. Now I don't really know what we're gonna go do. I think we're gonna go get some bubble tea and uh, maybe a Thai massage. Both of us are kind of scared to get a Thai massage. I actually need to watch a YouTube video again first before I decide that we're gonna do that. So it looks incredibly painful. Yeah, I love that. You don't know about doing it or you don't know about watching the video first? Well, if you watch the video, you're not gonna do it. She's probably right. But yeah, yesterday we went to Kosan Road. Probably saw like a clip or two. It's just too loud. You can't actually like film or say anything. Too many people, too loud. And we got a tuk-tuk ride on the way back. It was fun, it was a good time. Just stopped and got Sam and I's coffee and I got an orange juice. Thailand has the best orange juice, I think so. Sam doesn't like it as much. It's not orange juice, it's tangerine. It's orange juice, it had an orange on it. Now, I'm trying to find bubble tea. It's so loud. If you can hear how loud it is. So this area is nice, it's like downtown equivalent. Yeah. That it is. We're in like, I think a business district and there's just a billion noises. That's exactly how I remember it. <laughs> so loud, all the time. What, it's a bag of Fanta. You don't know that quote, you're an idiot. What, it's a bag of Fanta. But it's not a bag of Fanta, it is cocoa milk tea. It's probably my favorite drink. Bubble tea, less than a dollar. We get it sometimes at home and it's like six or seven dollars, which is insane. I even upgraded to get honey pearls instead of the regular ones. 
to get what one? Honey. You got brown sugar. That's what I meant, brown sugar. <laughs> Idea we ordered. We just picked something on the menu. It's called Rodna. Oh, Rodna. yeah, it's called Rodna. So if anybody knows what that is, that's what we got. And then we saw, or I saw, that they were making something to go for somebody. It looked like some sort of soup or something. This is what it actually turned out to be. I used Google Translate and said that I'd like to order whatever that is because it looked really, really good. <laughs> Both of these things together, uh, it was four dollars. What do you think of it? I think, um, what is that? We thought it was gonna be warm. It looked like it was gonna be hot. That's but what I did yesterday too. Sam said it was, she went to go blow on it and it was cold. It has like a chewiness to it. It's not bad, but I don't know about it. I just don't need to have any idea what that is. Really don't know what we think of this. I like it a lot. Sam likes it, but it's, it's gooey. <laughs> and now my chopsticks are covered in goo. My hands won't use them correctly. Can't even grip the chopsticks. They are slimy. Okay, so there's a piece of pork. Make it a noodle. You got it. I, it's so slimy. I know how to use chopsticks, by the way. I don't need a tutorial, but they're gooey. You can see this stuff just sliding off. Okay. It's got the nastiest texture you can imagine, but it's actually really, really good. It's good. We made a good choice. I don't even think the texture is bad at all. Oh, I think it's it's absolutely it's. No, that's not like durian. That was nasty. No, you can't even grab. It's just slime. <laughs> look, like if you look at it, it's just. Yeah, I know. I've been eating it. Looks it looks like snot. Actually, I'm not actually sure what this is. I think it's a, I think it's a Thai pancake is what they call it. Treat me like a baby. Hot. Gooey. Not expecting that. That's chewy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the top layer. Find it hard to fit. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's edible. Would I get it again? No. I wouldn't either. But you don't know unless you try it. We've tried three new things today. Yeah. We're impressive. This place is called Soy Cowboy. Is the name of the street. It's where they do the ping pong trick. If you don't know, one of the places, one of the places they do the ping pong trick. They even have a dart trick Sam told me about, which is yep. pretty crazy. And a razor one. That's scary. This is for sure where they film this thing. Okay. I think. So we've been out walking for a very long time. We left the hotel, which is right here, this one. We left there at like eight o'clock this morning. It's like one now. We just stopped at some like side of the road, uh, fried chicken stand. I mean, they were selling other stuff, but we were walking past it. It literally stopped me in my tracks. It smelled so good. Haven't tried it yet though, but we're almost back to the hotel. Probably gonna nap a little bit, shower. This is our last day or third day in Bangkok. Gonna go to a rooftop bar tonight. And then tomorrow we're headed south to the islands. Peepee -pee dawn. Check back in with some fried chicken. It's too hot. Too hot? Mm -hmm. There's no early to eat fried chicken in this hotel room. Holy shit. Super hot? Yes. 
roadside fried chicken. It's good as hell. No, I have to wait. So we're now sitting on the floor, eating our eating our Bangkok fried chicken. And it's the shit. It's not Kentucky fried chicken, it's Bangkok fried chicken. BFC. Sam and I just had an absolutely glorious nap. Um, it was incredibly hard for us to wake up, but we just got showered and dressed. Now we are about to go to um, one of the rooftop bars before it gets dark and crazy busy. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see you on top of the roof. So as you can see, we're obviously at the rooftop bar. It's called Techuca. Uh, it's pretty cool, very trendy. Got a billion people taking pictures here, but it's on like the 45th floor of 46th floor of whatever this this building is called. Very, very cool though. Sam and I are about to leave the rooftop bar. Maybe see us, but it was really good. Definitely recommend this one. The one that I came to last time is like one building over. It's called the Octave. And it's a little bit taller, I think, but I think this one's like a cooler vibe for sure. Oh, yeah. Love it. A few moments later. So we're a little hungry here, so we got a pork, a beef, and a crab skewer. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We are gonna go maybe to a ping pong show. Yeah. Viewer discretion is advised. Sam and I just got back from a pretty wild, long, wild night. Pretty long night out. Um, I think it's 11:30. It's our latest night we stayed out, and of course tomorrow's the earliest day we got to get up. We got to get up at like five o'clock. We just saw. We didn't film because we didn't want to. We weren't allowed to. Yeah, we're not allowed to, and we didn't cause a ruckus. But saw a ping pong get shoot out of a vagina, and I had a ping pong paddle, and I hit the the <laughs> ping pong ball. I told all my girlfriends that Alan has a paddle for the yeah. ping pong show. It yes. wasn't that far though. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they didn't shoot it as far as I thought that was going to be, but. More but, than I could do. Yeah. <laughs> and what was the other thing? Um, darts shot out of a balloon. Oh my god, yeah. We saw darts get shot out of a, like a, a blowgun and, uh, and pop a balloon. Highly recommend it. If you want to spend. Highly recommend it? I highly, highly recommend. recommend it. Yeah, no, if you've, if you've got a couple extra bucks in your pocket. We're worried about getting scammed. That's we all did, we hear about. We, we did, did get slightly scammed. Tell slightly. The first took took we took. Oh yeah, so I don't even know if this is going to make it in the video, but. So, we're at uh, Choi, what's it called? Choi Cowboy? Soy. Soy Cowboy. And we're like, we want to take, they didn't, we thought that there was going to be ping pong shows there, and there wasn't. We're like, we want to take a tuk-tuk ride to this other place where we know there's ping and pong shows. the bar or the place. Yeah, we named the bar. It's called something. <laughs> and uh, they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll take you there for a hundred bucks. And we're like, or a hundred baht, which is three dollars, which is way too good to be true. So I already knew it was going to be bad. So it's like a 15 minute tuk-tuk ride. We get there. They like take us in this back alley to this bar that's not the bar we thought it was. And we instantly get out. I pay the guy more than it was supposed to be just because I wanted to get out of there. We just walk away. Yeah, we walked away and we got out, which was fine. We're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We just kept walking. It's pretty close to the place we wanted to go. When we did go to this ping pong show, 
They said 400 baht per person. They said it did include the one beer that you had to have per person. So that's 800 baht. That was not true. We got up there. They immediately gave us change though for $200 or 200 baht. Because we handed them a thousand. But then they did come back eventually and say, oh, you already got your change, which we were like, yeah, we already know that, but sure, here you go. Here's 200 back. And then they said, okay, you have to buy a beer. And that was what, 200? 200 baht for two beers? Yeah, which was cheap. And then the girls, they would do their show and then they'd come up and be like, can you buy me a drink? Can you buy me a drink? And I was like, oh my God, that's sad. So we did buy a couple girls a drink and then we went to go leave. We're like, all right, fuck this. Because then they just all kept coming up. They, it was, and then like one show for free basically. And then after that, it was the second show. And then she's like, can you buy me a drink? And then after that, it was the next person who's like, can you buy me a drink? So we were, we got up, we left or we were about to leave. So then like the manager came up and she's like, okay, we, she saw we were about to leave. I got my bag. We're getting up. She's like, no, you can stay. You don't have to buy any more. Say, sit. say, Ping sit. Pong show's coming up. Yeah. So, was, you know, you can say no more. So we did. And we just sat back down. I really want to see this ping pong show. Just as I think just to say I did. And we did, we saw it. And, uh, so I think in total this, this one particular bar, I think they got like 30 bucks from us, which, or I think 40, 40 total, which we got two beers. We bought two girls, I think maybe one girl, There's two beers. One girl, yeah. Two different beers. So four total drinks, a ping pong show, and some other shows for forty bucks. I don't Alex think I'm. Said it's more than worth it. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think I'm never gonna see it for the rest of my life. I'm not gonna go see it again. Absolutely not. I don't want to go see that again, especially <sighs> when the needles came out. Yeah, needles were coming out of a. <whistles> on a string. On a string. It was. No, no. Crazy, but. Double that. It was, it was pretty we cool. We should probably wind down and get to bed. Yeah, we're going to go to bed because we have a long day tomorrow. So we'll catch you on the flip side. Sleep time. Later. 12 seconds later. Sam and I just packed everything up. Sun hasn't even really come up yet. And we are headed to the airport to head to southern Thailand. We definitely have more bags than we're supposed to have. So excited to see how this works at the airport. All the domestic flights, they're really like weird about, but international flights, they don't give a damn. You can literally do whatever you want, but domestic, they, they care, yeah. They're not nice either, so we'll see how this goes. Peace out.